Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Missy. Thanks for joining me again for another video. This layout is for the Hip Kit Club, and I'm starting with this picture of the Flamingo Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. I took this picture while I was riding in a taxi uh, on the strip, and the lights were just coming on, and so I snapped it from the, the cab, and it actually turned out really, really cool. And I've been wanting to use all the elements in the kits that have flamingos on them. And so this was the perfect picture. And so I'm going to start out with some mixed media. And I just took some clear gesso there and covered the background of my white cardstock. And I want to create a lot of pink because flamingos are pink. And the, the big lights in front of that casino, there's a lot of pink. And so I'm taking the Avery L Raspberry ink pad and I added a little bit of the the bubblegum pink dilutions that came back in our February kits to create um, a new shade of, of pink with the two of those mixed together and I'm just splattering it on there and adding some water I just kind of wanted to create a big section on this page with a lot of pink watercolory look uh, and some <clears throat> and some splatters and so I'm just splattering it down and adding water to kind of blend it in and make it kind of messy because that's what it is right so um, I'm coming in with a lot of this pink and I just I'm gonna cover a lot of this up because um, all of my my papers and layers and everything are gonna kind of cover a lot of this up so I do bring in my heat gun to dry that a little bit and now I want to come in with just the raspberry I don't add any of the dilutions for this because I want a little variation in the tones of the pink and this one is more of a reddish pink color so I just add a little bit more of that <clears throat> and I was just in a mood to get messy here so that's what I did I seem to be in the mood to get messy all the time, right? That's probably what you're thinking. I can't help it. It's just fun for me. I don't know. I like getting messy with the paints. So I don't want to waste any of that. And so I just flip the plastic over and smush it down. So now that that's all dry, I'm going to start building my layers around my picture. And I, I was very surprised that this picture turned out so well since I took it from, you know, behind a car window. But I love the the purplish blue color of the big screen on the side of the hotel behind the lights and then the actual flamingo lights I guess those are feathers they're really uh, really pretty it's like pink and orange and you know it wasn't completely dark but when they're all lit up it's just such a pretty pretty place we didn't stay there but I just had to get a picture as we were driving by so I'm gonna incorporate a lot of the pinks oranges and the navy blue because those colors are perfect for the picture and I really like how all that looks behind there so I'm just messing around here with the layers trying to get everything trimmed up and get everything just the way I wanted it and when I layer I like to mix patterns with solids um, I try to keep a solid behind uh, the picture the very first layer is a solid especially when my picture is kind of busy like this one there's a lot going on there so if I put a busy pattern paper behind it, I think it would take away from the picture. So I try to keep that in mind when I'm building my layers. So I picked out a lot of embellishments from that crepe paper poolside collection. And there are two cards. One's got the flamingo on it and one's got the letter F. And they're both, both the same size. And I thought, okay, I have to use those because it's perfect for this flamingo hotel picture and so I just want to kind of layer these to the right of the picture and I want to kind of do it you know uneven and messy and I want to incorporate that navy blue and white project life card but I couldn't quite figure out how I wanted to layer it back there because I wanted the saying to show and it says I could stay here forever or I want to be here forever Ugh. I have terrible eyesight. I can't even see this far. <clears throat> so, you think I would know. I just made this a couple of days ago. I want to be here forever. Oh, why can't I read that? The layout's way over on the other side of the room, so I can't see it. I have not used this washi tape yet, and so the colors, again, are perfect for this. And it's not wanting to stick 
pretty much at all because of the mixed media. The gesso that I use is really gritty, and so it's um it's just not a good thing. It's not a good base for things to stick. Anytime there's chipboard or stickers or anything like that, it's you pretty much have to glue it down. But that's okay with me. That's not a big deal. I, I wind up stitching through it anyway later on. I went back into last month's kit, the May kit, and if you remember all that pink paisley that was included, there was a lot of flamingo elements in that as well, in that Citrus Bliss collection. So uh, I did not use those last month, so I pulled those little flamingos out, and I'm going to use all of them on this page. I finally cut that Project Life card. I just ripped it to make it look a little uneven, and I like how that looks a lot better. And this Project Life card had a tag on it, and I wanted to use it, so I just cut it out, punched a hole through it, added some cord, and then I'm just going to use it as a fun little layering piece in the background there. And I used some of the begonia cardstock to cut the word flamingo. I was trying to recreate the font of the actual sign on the hotel, but I couldn't find anything. So I just found a scripty font that I thought was kind of close. And I don't know why I tried to use my ATG gun on top of all that uh, mixed media because it did not want to stick. So I just had to use my quick dry scotch, scotch quick dry glue, which is fine. And I did add some stitching there off camera and I used a lighter, the lighter blue color that's in that tape. And I did some straight and some really close zigzags there. So that tape is not going to come up now because it's stitched. So I'm going to come back in with all the same papers that I used behind that photo. And I'm going to just create some uneven layers of strips, paper strips, down at the bottom here. And I don't want them to be straight. I want them to be curvy, a little wavy, and a little uneven. And I really love this mix of fancy pants with the cardstock. I love the colors that Kimberly always includes in the cardstock kit because they just match all the pattern papers so perfectly and um, I was very excited when I realized that this picture matched all this all this product so well. It kind of made this page come together pretty easily as far as the mixing and the matching because sometimes you know you have a picture that it's just hard to match up anything in it. And for me, I always like to to play off the colors. If it's a color picture, I, I like to play off the colors that are in the picture. And so this was really easy to put together because all of the papers just matched it, in my eyes, to me anyway. And so sometimes when that's hard to do, you just make your photo black and white. And then you can use anything that goes with it. So I've got my paper layers there. I do add a little bit of that washi tape just to echo the tape that's up there in the top or in the middle. And so that's done. And I do wind up stitching through all that as well. So I'm going to come in with the rest of those little flamingos. And they're just so cute. I was excited that I could finally use them because when I saw them at first, I was thinking, I have no idea what I'm going to use these on. And that's another little pink paisley acetate piece. It says, that's so fancy. And uh, I thought, well, I got to use that. And I played around with the title several times. I wasn't quite sure where I was going to put it. I almost thought that I cut it too big on my cameo, but I wanted it to make a big statement because, you know, it's a picture about Las Vegas and everything in Las Vegas is big and shiny and bold. So I uh, finally decided that I'm going to make it work right there. And um, even though it's got pink in the background, the cardstock is darker, so it stands out. It doesn't blend in. That always bothers me when you can't read the title because it's on top of really busy cardstock or, you know, the color is the same as, the, as your title and it kind of blends in. But um, I made it to where it was you were able to read it and it stands out a little bit. So I'm coming in with these navy thickers and I'm just adding Las Vegas under it. And not not an original title, but you know, I'm just documenting a place, so I think it's appropriate there. 
And that's a gold flamingo. I forgot about him, and then I found him, and I thought, ooh, I have to use him. He's gold. And so I'm going to come back in and add some more gold elements around the page. And I'm still using that pink paisley chipboard sticker pack from last month, the May kit. And there was a lot of little gold chipboard hearts on there. So I'm going to use that. And this is my favorite Heidi Swap color shine from my stash. It's the gold. And I had to add some of that since I have a gold flamingo down there. And this is from this month's kit. That's the crepe paper sticker sheet from Poolside. And that little sticker has some gold around the edge. And then this is from this month's kit also. The, the freckled fawn stars glitter and they're in teal silver and gold and so I pulled a couple gold and there's they're adhesive so you just pull the backing off and they stick I'm adding a little bit of thread underneath that left hand side I didn't go too crazy with the tangled thread in this layout let's see that's the navy blue color shine I'm gonna add just a little bit of that to echo the dark pieces in the page. Oh yeah, more stitching, more stitching. This time I used some navy and uh, yeah, yeah, I've already done the lighter blue. I do add a little bit of tangled thread there at the bottom. I tuck it in and that's the lighter blue. And you can see that better in person, but I just wanted to tie in another little piece of the light blue down there since I had all the other colors represented. Oh yeah, I got mad at my glue. <laughs> it kept rolling over. It wouldn't stand up. So I had to kind of tell it what I thought of it at that point. And so that's what I was doing there. Do you ever talk to your scrapbook products when they don't behave like it's a person? Yeah, that's a sign that you need to take a break when you start talking to your products. I was telling that glue what I thought of it because it kept tipping over. And this is another sign that I need to get one of those fine line bottles. And I just still have not made it to Hobby Lobby, so I promise I will be getting one. So all I'm going to do here is add in my journaling, and that's pretty much going to be it. I think I add in my date after this, and it's going to wrap it up. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and don't forget to check out the Hip Kit Club, hipkitclub.net. Um, I just got my July kit yesterday, and oh my goodness, total gorgeousness again. So there's my final product. I hope you guys liked it. I had a really fun time putting this one together. Make sure you check out the blog. Make sure you check out the store if you haven't uh, checked out all the kits. And I thank you guys so much for watching me. Thank you to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. Please let me know if you have any questions about any of my any of my work or any of my projects and I hope to see you guys again next time. Thanks for joining me and have a great day.